Hey guys, happy New Year's Eve. I wanted to come in and give you all a quick word because the Lord placed a word on my heart. And so I thought, you know, I better do it now, better now than later, right? <laughs> and so this word really just talks to a certain group of people about us going into the promised land, that the Lord is going to give his people victory. This shall be a year of victory. 2021, 2020 W-O-N, we will have the victory. God has given his people victory and blessings. And so I'm just here to proclaim what the Lord has probably already spoke to your heart. This is just confirmation. Um, anything that I say, take it to the Lord, but understand that if he's already spoken this to you, I'm just here as a vessel to confirm what he's already told you in the secret place, right? So the Lord took me to Jeremiah chapter 39, and it's really powerful, you all. I'm not going to read through all of it, but I want to just take you to the key places that the Lord highlighted for me. In verse 15, it says, Now the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the prison, saying, Go and speak to Ebedim Melich, the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good, and they shall be accomplished in that day before thee. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith the Lord, and thou shalt not be given into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid of. And basically what this is speaking to my heart is that, you know, although there will come trouble in the land, there will be, um, there will be some, you know, things that are not so great that are happening around us because the Lord is going to bring justification. He's going to bring vindication and justice, which is going to cause a lot of people to um, go up into an uproar. But with that being said, he's saying even though that there's trouble all around us, that that trouble shall not come near us. Basically, the Lord is going to be the one who will deliver us because we have kept our trust in him. We haven't backed down. We haven't, you know, turned the other way because the media gave us another report. We have stood strong on the word of the Lord. And because of that faithfulness, the Lord is saying, you were faithful to my word. You were faithful to my promises. You did not back down even when it looked like it was impossible. He is blessing his people for their faithfulness. He is blessing his people who have kept their trust in him and have obeyed the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. And so with that being said, 2021 is going to be a year of victory. 2021 is going to be a year of blessing for God's people where we are going to shine bright. People are going to want to know our God. And we are going to bring many to Christ because of that. This is going to be a year where we're going to be able to get into the the Lord's presence like never before because what the Lord is saying is I'm elevating you I'm elevating you I am moving you from glory to glory we know we grow from glory to glory and the Lord is just doing a mighty work in his people and one of the major gifts that he's given his people is more of him his presence you know spiritual blessings everybody wants material blessings and that's great God is giving and lavishing his people in ways that we can't even imagine but he also has given us these spiritual blessings that far outweigh anything that we can get in the material, in the natural, right? So I'm just here to proclaim the good news, you all. I am just here to say that what you already know, many of us are walking into our promised land, the, milk of, the land of milk and honey, and the Lord is going to give us victory in this season. This will be a year where you will stand out above your fellows. This will be a year of victory. Remember, even though there will be justification that will happen in the land, which will cause trouble because the Lord is here to say, hey, I've been watching, I've been seeing what's going on, and the Lord is going to judge and there will be a lot of backlash because of that in our nation, right? But what he's saying is even though there's trouble in the land, it will not affect you because he will deliver you. He will make sure that you are untouched, that you will prosper in the land. Nevertheless, nevertheless of what's going around you, you will be a land that will be like a well-watered garden. Isn't that beautiful to know that those who keep their trust in him will never be put to shame. So I want you to go in 2021 with a praise on your lips, with gratitude, knowing that God is able to do beyond exceedingly abundantly anything that we could ever ask or think.
All right. I love you all. Be blessed. I want to say a prayer before we end. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for all of the provisions that you gave us in 2020. Lord, you kept us. You ordered our steps, Lord. You gave us hind feet so that we were able to climb the mountains. You made our foreheads like flints so we did not move according to the word, but world, but we stood on your promises. Glory, hallelujah. As we go into 2021, Lord, I pray that you just bless your people with more of your presence, that we stand on your word, Lord, that we are a light in a dark place, that we will arise and shine because our time has come, Lord. Our time has come. And I pray, dear, dear Heavenly Father, that we will be a blessing on the earth and that we will glorify and proclaim the name of Christ in the way we live, in the way we talk, in the way we act, in our deeds, and our actions, and all that we do, Father, going into 2021, that we will honor and glorify you because worthy is the Lamb of God and you are worthy to be praised. We bless you, Father. We glorify you, Lord. All power, all honor, all wisdom, all strength, it all belongs to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and we thank you in advance. Amen. All right, guys, go in peace. And have a blessed evening with your families. And don't forget to give the Lord praise and thanksgiving for what he has already done and for what he shall do. All right. I love you all. Take care.